What's up everyone? It's a gorgeous day today and you know what that means? We are going Blu-ray hunting. Not a lot of big spectacular new releases or interesting steel books. The big new release this week is Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. Probably not going to pick up that title but we're going to go to the big three today. Walmart, Best Buy and Target. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Location number one is Walmart. Let's see what crazy titles Walmart has for us today. Here in new releases at Walmart, Barb and Star isn't even at the top. It's all the way down there, but we'll discuss what's up at the top. We got Wonder Woman 1984. Now the DVD has a different cover than what was at Target. This one actually isn't bad. It's kind of cool. Walmart also has the double pack of Wonder Woman and 84 for $29.96 and double pack DVD with a different cover. So that's pretty cool that Walmart is offering different covers. And then we have the regular Blu-ray cover that I showed you last week. They also have Soul on Blu-ray and DVD, same cover. But here is Earwig and the Witch, like I showed you in the What's New for Blue video yesterday. So they do have the Blu-ray of that. And all the way down here is Barb and Star. Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. I don't know. A lot of you are saying that I should pick this up. It just looks so weird and outlandish, but it also has DVD as well. What is this? Cosmo Ball? The stakes have never been higher. Wasn't that the line of a different movie that I featured a couple of weeks ago? I don't know. It's like the go-to. We have Roar to the Rescue, if you want to be Roar to the Rescue. And we also have News of the World, again, Blu-ray and DVD. I think this one is also new today. Shadow in the Cloud with Chloe Grace Moretz. I have no idea what this is about, but it looks like she's serious. Something is going on. There's a plane on fire in the background. Planes are falling from the sky. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I can never get these back in. All right, but let's see what else Walmart has to offer today. As usual, Walmart has these crazy titles. So let's go over this for new releases. We have Psycho Gorman. I think that actually came out a week or two ago. We have I Am Lisa. Looks like a werewolf kind of film, I guess. Abandoned, uh, Angelique's Isle. Payback, American Skin, Caged, The Widow. And then we have BBC, A Perfect Planet. That, do <laughs> that doesn't really make sense or belong there. Then we have Sheep and Wolves, Pig Deal. <laughs> Hero Dog, The Journey Home, Legacy, Override. No one pumps out movies like Walmart, I swear. Castle Freak, I featured that before, I think. Jekyll and Hyde, Vampire Virus. <laughs> Has, is this what it comes to? Human Blood is only the beginning. That is crazy. Then we have a Hallmark movie. This literally makes no sense of how they're putting things. The Wrong Path, C. Thomas Howell. Oh man, oh, that's him. Where have you gone, man? Your career is in the toilet. Manipulated. Keep your eyes open. Oh, there's that movie All My Life <laughs> that I featured a couple weeks ago. She's the man. This is the first time I've actually seen it out for Blu-ray. She's the man. So there we go. We got a few copies here at Walmart. Only $10. Killer Karaoke. What? Sing for your life? Is this real? Killer Karaoke. That's insane. The Reckoning, The Parish, Conquest, The Rodeo Thief. I could go on for days. These titles are insane. Dollface, what is this? Oh, I'm blurry. Why am I blurry? There we go. Dollface, we all turn in the end. This is, these titles are crazy insane. Looking for Andrew right before your eyes. I'm just going over the entire new release section because you just can't not do it. Cheer, Rally, Kill, five film collection. This is crazy for $18. Oh my gosh, Walmart, you do not let me down. There it is, the 10 commandments on 4K. This is what I was searching for last week. This is a new release last week. I didn't come to Walmart last week and apparently it was here. So we have the 10 commandments on 4K for $20. I guess not too bad. I know it's after Easter and everything, but if you still wanna pick it up, it is here at Walmart. 
and we still oh that creepy clown the clown doll we have more new releases norman what is this norman change the past fix why am i blurry this is weird change the past fix the future i don't know these titles are crazy and then we have the same titles from before okay so let's move on but lots of random titles here at walmart they they never disappoint, I swear. I see something good. Predator 4 movie collection. Now I've been eyeing this for a while at Best Buy. It's always been about $37.99, a little bit too expensive. Here it is only $19.96. So I believe I found my first winner for today. I know a lot of you are saying that the fourth one isn't that great, but whatever. I'm just gonna get the collection because why not? It's just, you know, necessary to have. So, Predator, you are coming home with me. You're going in the cart. Good old Walmart never lets us down with those unique original titles that they keep pumping out every single week. It's absolutely fantastic. It's great material for me to show you when there's really nothing else for new releases, I gotta be honest. But they did have a lot of things to show. Barb and Star, they, dear ha they did have Earwig and The Witch that I mentioned in my What's New for Blue video, so that's positive. And they did have The Ten Commandments on 4K and that amazing Predator 4 movie collection. I wanted it. Don't criticize. I know a lot of a lot of you say a couple of the movies aren't that great. Whatever. I just wanted it. And for $20, you really can't beat that. Much better than the $37.99 over at Best Buy. Speaking of which, that's where we're going next. So let's get on going to Best Buy. Location number two is Best Buy. Come on, Best Buy. Give me some steel books that I haven't been able to find. In new releases here at Best Buy, we still have Wonder Woman 1984 at the top. There's still a few more steelbooks. Impressive, impressive. There's probably more in the back as well. But we also have Earwig and the Witch on Blu-ray. And here is that steelbook, limited edition steelbook. It doesn't say how many people, how many copies, but it is here for $24.99 if you're interested. Let's cruise around to the other side and see what is available. Oh, there's Barb and Star. There's Barb and Star. Go to Vista Del Mar, $17.99. I guess that's not bad for a new release Blu-ray. It's all right. Still got that Tom Hanks News of the World, Mulan, Honest Thief, Soul, Promising Young Woman. We still got these titles, but I'm gonna head on to the back to the, uh, the one rack back there to see if there's any steel books that I might've missed. So in the back, we still have plenty of, plenty, plenty, plenty of Wonder Woman 84 steel books. I was hoping to see maybe Godzilla or that Werewolf in London steel book that came out. I forget, there was another steel book that I was looking for, but I'm not seeing any new titles, any anything backlog that they might've put out. It's basically all the same stuff. They do have one rad steelbook left, but I don't know if I want to pick that up. I don't know. It's still about $24.99. Eh, I'm not really sure, but a lot of you are saying it's good. They do have that movie that I showed you at Walmart, Shadow in the Cloud, with Chloe Grace Moretz. Still got some copies of Wrong Turn, The Undoing. They still have Friday the 13th Part 2. They also have this, Son of the South. They, I believe they had this at Walmart as well when I went there. But other than that, I'm not seeing anything else, any new titles, same old stuff, same old steelbooks, Forrest Gump, Bumblebee, Bill and Ted, Face the Music. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything new. So you know what, we're gonna cut the losses here and we're gonna go to Target. Oh, Best Buy, you kinda let me down today. Although you did have new releases of Barb and Star and Earwig Earwig and the Witch. I don't even know what the title is. You did have that exclusive steel book, but I wasn't going to pick either of those titles up and there really wasn't anything else. I thought other steel books from the past couple weeks would be there, but no such luck. We're going on to our last location. We're going to Target. Hold out some hope that Target might have something. All right, here we go. We're going into Target. We're going into Target. In new TV and movies. There ain't nothing, nothing for this week anyway. Let's look at Wonder Woman 84 at the top. All the same stuff that I showed you last week. Soul, all the same stuff that's been. Still got the Avengers 4 movie collection and News of the World, but that's it. No Barb and Star, no new releases that I've been showing you. Wow, Target, 
surprising, letting me down. Now, as far as the regular Blu-ray aisle, I'm not seeing anything new. We have the same steel books that I featured last week, the Back to the Future 4K set steel books, and also 1917. Nothing else really. They still have those Girls' Night In and Girls' Rule collection. Those aren't selling apparently. They still have Jaws and the Incredible Hulk steelbooks. The only new thing that I can see right here is if you love Meryl Streep, there's an eight movie collection. Mamma Mia, Out of Africa, Death Becomes Her, The River Wild, One True Thing, Prime, It's Complicated, and Mamma Mia, here we go again, but it's on DVD. So, but if you love Meryl Streep and you want a collection, there you go. It's at Target for you. But other than that, I ain't seeing nothing. Well, you know what? I actually might pick up Love and Monsters because I heard it was good. It's only $14.99. It's a light week this week, so I might pick that one up. But other than that, there ain't nothing going on at Target. They don't even have Barb and Star. What the heck? Target is the big loser of the week with no new releases in stock, not even Barb and Star. Highly disappointed, Target. I thought you were getting better. You were getting new steelbooks in. It looked like it was on the up and up with new releases. And then you have backslid to being the big loser of the week. How does it feel, Target? How does it feel to be the big loser? Enough about that. What did I get this week? You already know I got Predator, the four movie collection from Walmart, $19. You really can't beat that considering they wanted it at Best Buy for $37.99. This is more within my budget, so I finally decided to pull the trigger on this and get the four movie collection. However, I did get a Target. The one thing I got a Target was Love and Monsters, $14.99. You really can't beat that. And I've been hearing great things about it, so I might as well pick it up. I pulled the trigger on this one as well. I was waiting and waiting and finally decided to pick this one up. So that's everything. That's what I got this week. Considering last week I really broke the bank with my budget, this week a little bit less. But the big question is, what did you find when you went out today? Did you find any new releases at your Best Buy, Walmart, or Target? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.